Hi. So today I'm going to read to you Sofia Valdez Future Prez by Andrea Beatty, illustrated by David Roberts. This book was donated to us to our classroom from our diverse book drive by our friend uh, Savannah. Savannah, I picked this book when your family donated money because Sophia kind of reminds me of you. You're strong and you have a lot of ideas, just like Sophia. So I want everyone to listen to our book. Thank you to Savannah's family and enjoy Sophia Valdez. You under the book jacket, you will see Sophia in front of City Hall. Sophia was a baby who got things done, helping her family before she turned one. She and Abuelo went out every week to help elderly friends around Blue River Creek who couldn't get out and about on their own and with no place to gather, were stuck home alone. It was very kind of them. Abuelo, that's her grandfather. There she is. And there are the people that she's helping. They are helping. Raking the leaves, taking pets for a walk, or just dropping by for a treat and a talk. Sophia Valdez did as much as she could for her family and friends and her whole neighborhood. A dreamer, a doer, a real life go-getter. Most people like good, but Sophia liked better. Look at all the dogs. I could use her help. Avoidy. I love when illustrators and authors make their pages super neat. All right, I'm gonna turn on the side. It says, each morning Abuelo walked so Sophie to class. They walked home again along Blue River Pass, making plans, munching cookies, Abuelo and girl, except for that Tuesday when Pup saw the squirrel. Oh man, you know how that can go. With a howl, Pup took off, racing all through the town, over, under, beneath, and around. Sophia scrambled to try to keep up with the hollering man and the bellowing Pup. Oh no, there they go. Up the, squir the, up the squirrel ran to the top of a hill made of leftover junk for the local landfill. They reached the tip top of that mountain of trash, which jiggled and broke with an ear splitting crash. Oh yuck, what a mess. That doesn't seem very safe or clean. Hmm. Down they all tumbled and hit with a thud on a moldy old pumpkin, surrounded by mud. Gross. Ouch, cried Abuelo. He struggled to stand. A dangerous mess, he said, grasping her hand. The next day, Sophia walked to school solo. But it wasn't the same without her abuelo. This is not right, declared young Sophia, who glared at Mount Trashmore and got an idea. Look at her face. She's feeling angry at this gross mess. And the birds, ugh, they're probably eating all of this trash they shouldn't be. Oh, what a mess. I would be angry too, especially if my abuelo got hurt, my grandfather. The very next morning at half past dawn, she planted a sign at the front of her of the lawn. She stood back and smiled and Pup gave a bark. 
get rid of Mount Trashmore. Let's build a new park. That's a great idea. She's standing up for what she believes in. She's making a change, or she wants to make a change. Uh-oh, not everybody likes change. Let's see what happens. Check out this picture. Each of her neighbors had something to say about benches and fountains and places to play. Meeting spots, gardens, a basket for bees, a rubber duck pond, and a kiosk for cheese. She drew every thought on her map of the park, which was perfectly perfect by a quarter till dark. That took her a while to make. So many people have so many ideas. This is a great page, look at her face. How does she feel? She looks nervous to me. Hmm. Okay, we know her. She drifted to sleep in her soft, cozy bed. Then bam, she woke up with a thought, when a thought smacked her head. Her heart skipped a beat as she realized each one of her neighbors had said, let me know when it's done. They all thought Sophia could build it alone, but how could one girl do so much on her own? The weight of that thought made her tender heart ache as night thunder growled and she lay wide awake. Then dawn brought a storm and a gloomy sky wept and the heart sick Sophia finally slept. Abuelo baked cookies when Sophia got up. He gave her a bag full and sneaked one to pup. He blinked back a tear as he hugged his Sophia. For courage, he whispered, te amo mi vida. That means, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Sophia's knees wobbled. She felt weak inside. She looked at his ankle and quite nearly cried. She thought she didn't feel brave or courageous at all. Sophia Valdez went to face City Hall. Remember City Hall, where all the big decisions are made. It's under the book jacket. <gasps> Library, City Hall. There she goes. She's being very brave. The mayor's office sent her to room 401, the Blue River Creek Department of Fun. It does look like fun. Which sent her downstairs to room 302, the office of duck ponds and cool things to do. to the office of monkeys, the department of cheese, the division of fountains and meetings and bees, then down to the basement, so musty and cramped, where all the town's papers were sorted and stamped. And that's where the clerk said what no one else did. You can't build a new park. You're only a kid. Oh, man. I don't know about that. I think Sophia, I think she can do it. What do you think? Do you think that she could build a park or do you think, no way, she's just a kid. She can't build a park. Let's find out. The word smacked Sophia down deep in her heart. Her plan was kiboshed before it could start. I think, said Sophia, I think that law's wrong. But her second grade voice didn't sound very strong. The clerk said, clearly it cannot be done. Do you have any questions? Sophia said, one, if you were me and I was you and he was your grandpa, what would you do? Well, 
I, said the clerk. Then she said nothing at all. She thought and she thought, then she sent out a call to every employee throughout City Hall. And someone picks up their phone and they're calling every person that works in City Hall. That's a big deal. That means something's gonna happen. Hey, we know them, they were all in City Hall. Jeez, I remember him. <gasps> oh, the entire government of Blue River Creek crammed into the office to hear Sophia speak. But her words jumbled up and her cheeks turned bright red as a dozen emotions rushed into her head. Her heart beat so loudly she thought it would crack. The crowd leaned in closer. Sophia leaned back. And that was the moment when Sophia first knew being brave means doing the thing you must do. Though your heart cracks with fear, though you're just in grade two. Even when you're afraid, you have to stand up for what you believe in. She took a deep breath look the mayor in the eye and thought her knees and though her knees wobbled she held her head high Sophia started talking she spelled out her plan and why it all mattered and how it began and once she got rolling she had lots to say about meeting spots monkeys and places to play and other ideas for things they could do to help the town elders and other folks too, the older people. She had thoughts on the library, thoughts on the zoo, and perhaps a way to combine the two and, here it says, basket for bees. I love bees. Rubber ducks, rubber duck pond, a library for monkeys, that sounds fun. I love cheese fountain, maybe a fountain of cheese. I would love that. Monkeys love books. I love cheese, cheese kiosk, a kiosk for cheese. It's where you can buy cheese. Cheese for everyone. Zoo library, lone a llama. Pick me, That'd be cool. You could borrow a llama. All right cried the mayor. Go start a petition. If the town wants a new park, we'll form a commission. Let's build a park. A park for everyone. Sign our petition, please. Bark for parks. And so young Sophia got right to work with some help from her family and pop and the clerk. There's a bueno. Our dog, pup, the clerk, Sophia. Whoa. Then others joined in, not all, but a few, like Miss Lila Greer and the kids in grade two. Scientists need parks. Give bees a chance. A park to think in. Architects for Parks, Piggy Peck. We love parks. We can do it. It's our Rosie. Let's build a park. Get rid of Mount Trashmore. That, somewhere that's green. We need more green. Si se puede. Park for Barks. Sign our petition, please. These kids, they're brave are standing up for what they believe in, even if not everyone agrees. Wait a minute. There were hearings and surveys and taxes to figure, then bulldozers, cranes, and a blue digger, bigger digger. They all built that park. That's how it got done. With the hard work of, by, and for everyone. 
but it began with the dream of one person, just one, who laced up her shoes and then led the way to help Blue River Creek get a new place to play. Now every evening till long after dark, the town comes together at Citizens Park. They all hold this, they all hold this truth to be self-evident that Sofia Valdez could grow up to be president. Until then, Sofia, that's a real life go-getter, helps Blue River Creek get better and better. Okay, it's part of the president's job. Let's make sure that our country gets better and better. She would make a really good president. Citizen Park, Citizens Park, this book is dedicated to you. You are braver than you know and mightier than you can ever imagine. Be bold. And that was written from the author and illustrator to you. And there's a note. It says, Sophia Valdez was inspired by, by not only one person, but many. Some small, some tall, some young, some old. People from every part of the world, girls, boys, women, men, people who saw a problem and worked to fix it, even when it was hard, even when it was scary. Some are famous, most are not. They took one small step and then took another and another, and they inspired other people through their journeys. They changed the world, and so can you. Give it a round of applause for Sophia Valdez, future friends. Yay! Well, she would have my vote. And I know that some of you could even become the president of the United States one day. I know that some of you are going to do great things. Actually, I know all of you are going to do great things. I'm very excited to see what you are going to do as you grow up in grade two and when you're an adult.